In this lesson, we are going to import data from two more sources. Now, the first source will be an Excel workbook. So from the Home tab, I have an Excel button on there ready to be used. So if I click on Excel, the open window appears and is on my Documents folder. I can now scroll to the workbook that I need, which is this one called Countries. If I select Countries and click Open, it connects to the Excel workbook and takes me to this Navigator window, listing all of the elements within it. And I can see that there is a table named Country, and also a sheet named Sheet 1. Now, if I was to select the country table, I will see a preview on the right-hand side. And as you would expect, it is some information about countries. A nice simple table here, but there could have been lots of fields with information about these countries. And these are the countries referenced from the sales data we imported in the previous lesson. If I click on the sheet, I also get a preview of that. And these two elements are showing me the exact same set of data. Now, because I have that data in a table already, it makes sense for me to choose the table over the worksheet. But we could have imported data from a sheet. If I click on transform data at the bottom, I am pretty confident that this data is ready to be used, but it's always a good practice to click on transform data and check your data out before you load it. So here it is in the Power Query Editor. The query is added to the left-hand side in the Queries pane. And over on the right-hand side, we have the applied steps and we have the name of the query. I'm just going to put a capital C in the query name there. And in the applied steps, you can see the connection to the source, the navigation to the table, and then the auto detection of change type, which if we look at our data, both columns are text data types, and that's correct. So this query is already ready to be used no transformations or any other data shaping required. Now I'm going to stay within the Power Query Editor and I'm not going to load this to Power BI yet because there is another data source that we want to connect to. And this one is a text file. So from within Power Query, I can click on the New Source drop down on the Home tab and I can see text is an option from this list. But just like in the previous lesson, if I needed to connect to a folder or to a PDF or something that is not listed in this quickfire list, I can click on more to get that large complete list that we saw. I'm going to click on text slash CSV. That will take me to the documents folder and this products file is the one that I want to use. So after selecting, I will click open. I have this preview of the text file showing me the ID of the product, its name, and then a category that it has been assigned to. Looks great. I'll click on OK. And now it's into Power Query, where if needed, I could perform some transformations. But just like with the Excel workbook, this looks good. On the right hand side, I will capitalize the name of products. And once again, the applied steps, the source, the promotion of the headers, and then that change type step. Now, when you're looking at these applied steps, you can click on them to see what your data looked like at that point in time. So I could click on that source step and in my formula bar above, 
I can see the file path of that product's file. So if I ever needed to change that for any reason, if that file was to be moved, then I can do so at that source step. And I don't need to recreate this connection all over again. There is also a gear icon to the right of that step name. And rather than editing it in the formula bar, I could click on that gear icon and it would take me to this window where I could then browse for where my new file or where that file may have been moved to. I can click on cancel for now. Not all steps on the right have a gear icon for simple editing, but some of them do. And that can be really useful so that you don't have to redo those steps. As I mentioned, because that source is selected, we are looking at our data in that point in time. So if you look at the data in the middle, you can see the headers are in the first row and not in the header. But then the next step is that Power Query automatically promoted them into the header area. And now in the data, we can see they're in the headers. And then it applied the change type step, which in this example was simply to change the ID into a whole number. It's always good practice to check those data types and all three of them are good. We have a whole number, text, and then another text field. So I'm happy with this. From the Home tab, we can click Close and Apply to close the editor, load this data into Power BI. And here we have it on the right-hand side in the field list. We now have those three tables, country, products, and sales prep. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.